Welcome back to From My Living Room to Yours. Whenever I'm going through a unique experience, often a challenging time, I have one friend who always asks, what are you learning in the midst of this? Oftentimes I have an answer for her because that's probably why we're friends. We always are wondering about how we can improve our lives, where we can go deeper on our faith journey, or where we can listen to God more closely. Other times, however, when she asks me, what are you learning in the midst of this? I sigh, I shake my head, and I say something like, not everything has to mean something, you know. And of course, I know she doesn't mean what have I learned while I've had a cast on, like how to balance on one leg, how to identify the best places to uh, prop up my foot on the piece of furniture in my house to keep it elevated, or how to properly use my crutches to get up and down stairs. You can watch a YouTube video on that, by the way. <laughs> and during my support of my dad as he recovers from COVID, I've learned a lot more than I want to about that virus. I'm learning the limits of Medicare and insurance and that the patient's well-being isn't often considered when insurance ends and the next thing has to happen and we may have to move my dad for the third time this week, which only will add to his state of confusion. But what she means is, what am I learning internally? And when I think about it, I guess what I'm learning during this challenging time is how to be better about asking for help. People want to help. We're part of a community, especially when we've been so separated from each other for the past year. We are looking for ways to help each other. What I've realized is if I can get really specific about what I need help with, then people can jump in. For instance, I've asked, could you come over and move my litter box so that it's easier for me to reach? Or could you help rearrange some furniture so that I don't trip? Then I can be independent, but I've still opened myself up to help in the process. I also feel a little guilty about all the meals I've been brought during this time, but let me tell you, it's been a lifesaver. Instead of having to use my energy to figure out how to stand up long enough to cook a meal, I can use that energy toward my healing. As I started thinking about this, I realized Jesus is also a great model for this idea of asking for help. As soon as he gets his ministry going, he invites people in to participate. Of course, he's also teaching them along the way, but he's also asking them to help out with things. He asks them to do some of the healing. He asks them to gather up the bread the day of the feeding of the thousands, and he continually asks them to help spread the good news. In the upcoming Palm Sunday reading, for example, Jesus asks his friends to go borrow a donkey for his passage into Jerusalem. We have much to learn from that model. Jesus doesn't try to do life alone, and neither should we. And you don't have to wait to injure yourself to ask for help. Think about it. What little project could you use a hand with? Who might you give the gift of letting them help? Until next time, be humble, be grateful, be kind, and have a blessed Lent.